Alright. Time for a Diana game. I will be playing against a Blitzcrank here, which is kind of interesting. I've actually not faced the Blitzcrank yet. I've played it myself, but not faced it, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I'll be showing you how to correctly play Diana for good elo at the end of the season. We're closing in on that now. And uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people want to pr pressure for like gold, platinum, that type of deal. Diana's a very good champion for that. She has like a basic thing that you can just pretty much repeat for the most part. And uh, you'll be fine off that one, really. So I'll show you how to do it. And throughout the game, I'll explain why I do things. And you can, of course, ask questions in the comments on those as well. Now, against that Blitz here, obviously the invade was to be expected. My bot lane did play it quite good there. So I was thinking maybe this Blitz starts to cheese, like, upside, but... I always walk to the buff that I'm not going to start on and then um, ward that. I'm actually very scared here that it's like flash hooks my buff camp or something. So I'm going to... All right, yeah, good. <laughs> he didn't. Uh, so yeah, I always back at 50 seconds and ward the buff I'm not going to start on. It's a very good thing to do because if they try to invade you, they will always go for your buff camp first. They never go for like your other camps first, so... You can like try to ward entrances or try to walk paths that they would walk but generally it doesn't do anything because they will always go for your buff camp anyway and if you have vision on that then you will always know if you get invaded and you can't get cheesed by like getting like wrecked on like some type of pathing that you wouldn't expect or that is literally just past your ward or something like that so this is definitely the safest way to go now with your abilities try to hit as many things in the camp as possible uh, which, I mean, obviously, really, but does help quite a bit to try to hit as many things as possible. And then for your auto attacks, you do three auto attacks and then another ability, and then three auto attacks and another ability for the most, like, part of your early game. This is not auto attack limited. This is just time gated. You can't do, do more hits at the moment without additional attack speed uh, to get it done. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, Lilia is pushing here. I am a little bit worried about a Blitz Invade, but I don't think I should be that worried. I'm just focusing the blue down, well, AoEing down Grom basically with some additional damage. I'm gonna smite this here, and then we're just gonna go top. The Scuttle takes very, very low priority, by the way. The first Scuttle is 80% reduced experience. A full clear is better. A gank is better if your gank timing can be good here. I don't know if you can reach this. Please tell me you flesh for this. It's okay. He should have gone flesh E faster in there, really. Oh god. Lilia doesn't have flesh. Blitzcrank should be dead here. He has Ignite. I think the Jax could have most likely killed the Blitzcrank in that situation if he committed to it. What I was hoping for, he just like flashed on the Lilia like way here. Because then we either force to play quickly or, I mean, we'll just walk away, right? But, you know. Okay. First back here, we're getting a Dark Seal. If you're playing an AP jungler, Dark Seal first back is a very, very good option pretty much always. But that's what I'll be doing here. And then we just got the Amptome. We're going to rush for the Nashurus. We're going to go for the easiest version of Diana builds, which is Nashurus into the Sunfire Demonic type of build. That was very close. Oh. Alright then. For me right now, I mean, that's fine. As far as it can goes, it's okay. I mean, I survived. Didn't get a kill, unfortunately, but it's not really a big deal. Even if I would die in that situation, I don't necessarily think it's that bad. As long as Jax gets a kill out of it. I'm a bit sniffly today as well. Use me on that one. I could look for mid here, potentially. Let's get into this position. We have to note her fear can be a problem. Okay, well, it's not really now. Yeah, Akshan, I don't know about that one. He also gave her the level up, which is not good. I'll be taking the wave here, at least. 
That kind of sucks. I don't know. I can't. I also can't force this. I think because she is playing so far up on this HP that there is no way Blitzcrank isn't around. Like surely Blitzcrank is just waiting for me there. She doesn't have flash, but I mean, if Blitz shows up, I'm just dead. So it's not necessarily helpful. Also, if she has her fear up, dashing on her is pretty much impossible because she just cancels it. So uh, I don't know. Blast plant spawns at about 5:30 ish. So I will be able to use that for this top lane gank. We know Lilia has no flesh here. So this is definitely a possibility. I'll be patient. I'll wait for her to walk back up into Jax right now. Pull her back into the turret range so she takes an extra hit. And then we curve the Q, uh, so you get a better hitbox in front and to the side, so she can't dodge it. I throw it to the side of her instead of on top of her, because if you throw it to the side, you the hitbox of your Q is most likely to hit, more likely to hit. Show you in a second. Um, just let me get the recall off first. This is fine. Get the AP above the attack speed. Don't wait for the mana, because you have mana sustain. Okay, so for the Q, basically, when she's trying to run, if I throw it on, on top of her like this, you only hit, hit this faction of it. But if I throw it to the side, you can see, like, you can also hit the curve, and she, you can cover the side that she would otherwise dodge towards. So this works out. I pulled with the ult into the uh, turret there, so, yeah. Let's see if I can maybe go for a bot play here. This is not warded, so we're just going to loop around. This should be fine. Walk up into it close to him. Make sure to land your Q. Dash with E. Good. Really? Uh, okay. I mean, Lux still got the kill. It's okay. They got Dragon. There's not much I can do about that. Oh, please, bolt lane. That was... Okay, interesting, interesting. He's gonna get Blitzhook. Yep, there it is. Oh, I didn't get my E off. Are you joking me? Dude, I was so close. If I got that E off, the next E would have hit as well. He would have been dead. That's rough. He doesn't have blue buff. I can probably take his blue. I'm gonna smite this and do this quickly. Get it into the bush here as well. There is a chance he shows up for this. There's also a chance he recalls. If he doesn't insta show on Gromp, I'm gonna take this in a couple seconds. I'm gonna take this because it means he recalled. Because otherwise he would have shown on Gromp, right? We, we made him pretty much notice for a fact. So we can take all his camps because we know he's, re he's recalled. To tax him for that play. He killed Dragon and bot lane walked up, which eh, is not ideal. I should probably just run straight bot lane. I'm going to do that because they are very far up and I still have ult. I can just walk in from the side here. There's no way they will have enough reaction time to cover this. Let's go for her. Can you press ult, please? Can you please press Sivir ult? Holy moly, my guy. I'm literally waiting 15 years for you to press that button. Ah, but... Nah, there's no way he dodges that one. That's good. And Akshan gets the double kill. I guess that's fine. If the Sivir would have pressed her ult, like, any time sooner, that would have been really, really clean. Because I would have been able to have way more movement speed faster. But it still worked out. Akshan gets a double kill. I'll take it. Not bad. He definitely needed that one. He is uh, not doing great on mid. Let's hope the double kill helps. Okay, he gets another objective. Currently, for the Blitzcrank, the objective gameplay is very easy for him since his lanes are winning. And I can't really do anything about it. Not really. Uh, let's see if I can go mid here, potentially. I do have quite a bit of gold, but... Let's see if this is warded. Okay, this is not warded, otherwise she wouldn't be walking up. 
fear that I was expecting. Let's see if I can use the red buff slow here to my advantage. Right, he couldn't kill. It's unfortunate. All right. It's, please tell him oh, he didn't get it. Really? That sucks. I'm going to be dead here. Damn. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Couldn't get the uh, hit or prevent the Rift Arrow from hitting there, which is also a little unfortunate. I saw the Lux coming in from the side. I thought it was going to be fine. But as soon as the Vex ult hit, I pretty much knew I was dead. I probably should have, like, dashed, he dashed towards a minion or something to try to do dodge the Vex ult, which most likely would have been the better play. Uh, but, yeah. And Blitzcrank is having a pretty good time here due to just lanes winning. Like, he's has he has a winning bolt and mid lane. And to be fair, also a winning top lane. He just has a winning lane across the board, which makes things more difficult for me. And that means pressuring for objectives is something he can easily do, but I'm not really allowed to do as much because I kind of have to somewhat salvage my lanes, which is what I'm trying to do. Uh, but they're still dying, so, you know. Oh, right, I'm getting question mark pink now. Cool, cool. All right. I'm trying my best here to, like, do whatever I can. Yeah, um. uh, she's gonna try to type to me, and I cannot be... I do not care one single bit. Not my problem. Let's show and be from behind on Vex here. Hopefully this works. Should be okay here. I don't think she has a way to escape me. Yeah, there we go. No flash, no mobility. Just... Hit him down. I'm actually I'll, I'll I'll unmute for people because people have said that they want to see what people type. Okay, I should go bolt here. Problem currently is the dragon. I think Blitz will be going for that one again. This is also going for Nashers. I'll just ping. Because their bolt is most likely recalling right now. I think this is my best chance to get the dragon. I'll rush it down here. See if I can get it. This is my li literally my best chance. Because their bolt is resetting. So this allows me for that dragon opportunity. gets that kill again okay i would i would currently prefer getting those kills because i don't have the most faith i got third aggro off that really damn i thought i really hoped the jacks would get that one okay well we had a format four against one dive so that's good be able to finish off this third before the third plates go down on id oh no jacks is dead kek w i'm actually gonna walk away from this play here we lose top third here. First third, unfortunately. No, we actually already lost mid, it's fine. Not a problem, really. Alright, so Sunfire is next. You do have other options, like you can go Rocket Belt or something like that, but we're gonna go for the easiest version of this build. Or Diana. Okay, level 11. They overextended mid there, going for that third. I didn't really want to participate on that one. Good. Uh, if you W E when you're close to them, you dash through them with E, and then your W gets the full shield proc, so that works out pretty well. She didn't have the damage to kill me there. There was no way, especially after I smited Grump. I'm definitely guaranteed to be full HP. Okay, I'll wait the gold because I could sell the potion here, technically speaking, but I'd rather have the potion if I have to wait for like five gold. You know, it's not that bad. Yeah. Well, we've given the Akshan four kills this game, so that's quite good. We have nine out of 11 kill participation. I'll get a red buff here. Uh, it's going to give me that, and then I can potentially go for a bolt play. Hit the level 12 as well, which I do want to get the level up before I run bolt here, ideally, honestly. I think Vex might be rotating bolt through this bush here. I could probably cut her off. She's probably looking bot lane right now. There she is. I made the choice of going for the Vex instead of going for anything else there. I 
I'm gonna actually flash on him and red buff slow him to death. I think that's fine there. Because this allows us for a mid push for free, which should give us like a nice amount of turret pressure. I hit him, he's dead. Again, there with the Q, throwing it in a manner that it it's most likely to hit. So I throw it like through him and on the, to the side, basically. Sure. I would never give red here, by the way, if it was up to the jacks, I wouldn't. I'm going to take the Rift Herald while I can. It's 300 gold, so I'll definitely be happily taking that one. Dash through the Rift Herald when the eye opens and try to uh, use your Q for that moment as well. If it presents his eye to you like this, you can just hit it down. But My giving kills action has paid off to the Akshan. That's good. Or getting him fed, rather, I suppose. Good kill. Gonna keep it consistent here. We see the camps respawning. I see a Sivir in trouble. I zoned him off a bit. It's okay. I don't play with you. I told you. Wait. Oh, is he talking to me or Lux? I don't know how delusional he is. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, on the next back, I'm going to get the Sunfire. Uh, you can upgrade your Dark Seal. I probably will here. Because I just can. Like, it's a very, very solid upgrade for any AP champion to do. So I will most likely do it here. I don't currently have the money for it, though. And her taking my Raptors there doesn't help. Um, nah, okay, fine. I'll recall here because I can't wait much longer, unfortunately. If I had the opportunity for this, maybe, but I don't since he took it. So I'm going to just do this and then build the Blasting Wand here for the Demonic. I'll just sit on the Dark Seal, it's fine. I'm going to have to play for this. I'll walk to Krugs, I suppose, take those and then rotate for it. Should have a pretty good position on it, though. Oh god, this guy is trolling. Uh, I'm not actually finishing the rest of that camp. Yeah, he just hard briefed that play. The unfortunate thing here is that Sivir ran top lane, like... Um, you're literally trolling. Nope. He can't. Cool, cool. I'm gonna get blitz hooked over the wall here, aren't I? Oh, and then comes in the Lucian ultimate, man! Damn it. I was not expecting the Zonias. I didn't look if she had still parts or not. That's my bad. Yeah, I mean... I mean, we have this, this man on the team, I suppose. It is what it is. I didn't play that correctly. I played it correctly if she didn't have a still parts or a Zonias, but I didn't look and she had a still parts. But that's my bad. Because as you saw, like I pretty much like held on to my E resets as much as possible to keep closing the gap on her. Uh, but yeah, she does quite a bit of damage to me, to be fair. Like uh, Leandries and stuff, a little burn damage. It's not ideal. Lucian ult came in as well to like, finish me off basically with the damage. I would have killed her though. But yeah, the, the, the dragon was impossible basically because the uh, Sivir decided that she doesn't want to play the game anymore. So it's going to be a 4v5 from here on out. Which we'll see how that turns out. I mean, Diana's very good in those situations because her ult's very good in team fights, so I'm not that worried. It's just a little bit cringe. Okay, so we'll just be taking my camps here. I'll also definitely take the red buff as well, pretty much as soon as I can. So we're going to do wolves into red buff. I absolutely do not ever want to give that thing to Sivir. If she would walk for it, I would... Just smite it away. Because red buff is a very valuable thing to have on Diana. Okay. We're just getting levels up. We're just farming level ups right now. I do have the Herald that I need to use soon. Which is not too ideal. I'm actually just going to use it right now. If you use a red or a blue trinket right after Herald, then you will be able to get a free reset on that trinket. Okay, the, the Herald's now going bot, so if you can, like, force the potential fight, that'd be good. 
This should this guy should be 100% in the ground. He's dead. Perfect. I didn't want to overcommit. I could have committed like with potential flash ult or something. Uh, but I don't want to overcommit in that situation. There's no reason to. We killed the jungler just now, so we're def definitely going to go for Baron. If Jax tanks it, that would be ideal. Because I do not want to be tanking this Baron. Since I do way more damage to Baron than Jax. So. Not warded. We are, should be good here. Yeah, they have no idea. Perfect. Alright, that's good. Whoever tanks Baron does 50% reduced damage to Baron. So Jax, the one that does lower damage should always be tanking Baron, especially if it's time pressured. Okay. Narkshawn's doing okay. He, he cleaned up some good kills. Helped him out quite a bit. Even though he went 0-4 in lane, he's doing well now and that's good. Uh, we have Demonic in base, so I'll definitely be purchasing that soon. It's gonna be quite nice. Demonic actually got buffed for Diana because it gives more AP now. So it's actually even better because obviously Diana scales really well off of AP. I'm gonna wait and take the blue here. I, I would have reset, but I'm playing with a griefer. And if you're playing with a griefer, uh, there's a high chance that if you reset and all three of your topside camps would be up or something like that, that he would just take your blue buff for no reason as an AD carry that doesn't need it because that's just usually how that goes. I'm gonna go for this. Oh, that so sucks, though. Okay, well, I was gonna go for that, but there was no, like, follow-up fast enough from the Jax there with, like, an instant, like, flash E in or Q in. And, like, I was hoping he would. Because then if he stuns it and I get him on top, that would be good. But then the Lucian just flashed out of my ultimate, which kind of ruined the entire thing. Because if he would have gotten hit by the ult, he probably would have gotten almost one shot, which is what I was hoping for. Uh, but then he just, like, he is quite fat. Yeah, right. Three items. The second he flashed out of it, I was in trouble. As long as my team can defend here, I'm not too unhappy about the situation. That was not particularly good, but it's okay. Fox is just casually pushing bot lane with Baron. Just keep going, it's fine. That one's definitely my bad, though. Like, I, I thought the play was possible, but it just wasn't, so it's okay. Go mid. I'm gonna defend mid here. Okay, they most likely walked away. That's fine. It's okay. We got dragon here. They did. They just have to recall now, so we could just force the dragon down. Not the best play on my end. That one. I thought it was gonna be uh, be able to be followed up a bit better than it was. So just force the dragon down, and we should be fine because they just had to recall after that one. We'll never get to the dragon in time, which is good for us. Giving us an extra dragon. Level 16. Also, another thing. 60% of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing. Checking if you're subscribed. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. I had to ult that. I didn't really want to, but I had no choice. Okay, that Lucian's gonna kill me. I knew I should have let my Jax die. I was like, am I gonna have to, am I gonna help him? Because I had to use my E without reset to kill this guy. I also didn't like the fact that I had to use my ultimate there, but without the ult, I probably wouldn't have been able to kill the Lilia. So I was pretty much locked into that, unfortunately. It is what it is. All uh, right. Dark Seal has lost the stacks because I do. Ha I have died quite a bit. Uh, let me see here. I don't really need Void Staff, do I? They're not really building any of that. They have a lot of AP. I could just go Force of Nature here, to be honest. Honestly, I'm just going to keep it simple here. We do a ton of damage already. I can potentially build more damage, but just building a Force of Nature here is going to be a good move. Because it's going to be good against Blitz, Vex, and Lilia, and, and Nami, to be fair. 
Uh, but obviously not Lucian, but I'm, my goal is still to one-shot him in fights, so I would just hope that I can try to get that done. For the most part, at least. But the Force of Nature is going to be great against the rest of their entire team, so it's just a very good tank item first. Obviously Lucian, yes, he does quite a lot of damage to me because I don't have any armor. I mean, I said I don't have any armor. I have some armor, but it's not much. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're just going to hope we can kill him quickly enough. It's, it's a better tank item against most of their team, so it'll be, pay off more, if that makes sense. He doesn't have flesh now, you're dead, Lucian. Oh, it's when, okay, now he did die, beautiful. I know he doesn't have flesh now because he used it for the last play that I inted. Inted. Oh, God. Give me my shield, all right. Okay, what we do now is just a cheesy jungle tactic where you could just walk to any camp, smite it, and get back to full HP, basically. Back to a fighting state. I also have red buff, so... I mean, we're looking good here. As you can see, my HP regeneration is great. I'm just gonna use my E to close the distance a little faster, push this as fast as possible. Push top turret down. With inhibitors, you have to stand inside of them. If you don't stand inside of them, the passive doesn't proc, as you see. I don't do 600, I do 200 if I stand too far away from it. Which is what happened there. Ooh, Lucian's back alive. I may have inted on that one. Thought I could kill him quickly. Ooh, he flashed for me, so... I probably should have just finished off the turret instead of Nanami. I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> I thought I could just quickly finish off Nami, but that wasn't the case. Well then. I, I really should have finished the turret there. It would have definitely been the best play. We're all dead here. That probably cost me Baron what I just did. Most likely. But, okay. Alright, so we're gonna go scope for some armor now. Now, options for armor, I mean, you can do a ton of things, obviously. I probably should go for... I mean, I could just go Zonias, to be fair. It's quite a good item. Gives me the stasis effect as well. I'll definitely just go for Zonias here. Pick up the stopwatch and then I'll pick up a blue potion here for the next fight. Because then, most likely scenario here for the next fight, if there is a next fight, I should have enough to buy the rest of the Zonias anyway off of what, the back of one team fight. So I don't think I'm going to have that much of a problem. Just using a blue bolt right now, having a stasis stopwatch thing is really good. With Diana ultimate combination, uh, it allows me to like help the Lucian better, faster. I wonder if that's going to be a kill on Vex. Oh, God. I mean... Do we trade Sivir for that? I don't know how I feel about that one. I suppose we should just play for Dragon. If he dies forward, he does. He's dead here. Or he gets GA'd here, which means he's dead here, because there's literally nothing he can do right now. Yep, dead. Uh, I mean, I think we can probably end, but I'll play it. I'll play it safe here. And get the dragon. Because if we can end, they don't really need me to end anyway right now, most likely. Because I mean, numbers and that. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it's the best move here to do this, especially when we have to wait for the wave anyway. To. Um, quickly take dragon and then move up because this way they if they do win a fight against us they actually won't have like a rebuttal yeah, save my sifter that's good okay they're back alive i guess we just baron here to be fair i think what i did is the correct play there I, the end didn't look too great I'm definitely not going to give that to Sivir in any dimension in the world. Just don't care what she does. I don't be real. I really don't care what she does. If they kill Blitzcrank here. That is absolutely beautiful, which I think they will. Oh, and I can solo Baron easily, by the way, with this build. That is definitely less than ideal, though. Especially since Lux is bot lane. I'm gonna have to let Baron reset, unfortunately. 
Okay, the wards should have disappeared by now, which probably means I could still do it. We'll see. We'll see how they react. Okay, ward disappears now. I don't think they can stop it though due to wave positioning. I think with Akshan damage, I should be fast enough. I do 50% reduce damage to Baron, as you can see with Baron's gaze. Uh, but I don't think it's relevant here. It's just a dead Baron. They would not listen. Right, quick. I'm just going to go take this red buff as well. I don't have anything to recall for anyway, so... The good thing about this situation is that no matter what, I kept my jungle clear up, jungle tempo up. So I am in a very good state here, level 18. Same with Lucian, level 18 there as well. This should be a good pull in. That's Lilia ult juice, that's perfect. Don't have my ult now, but Lucian's there, so I'm just gonna cut off Vex here if I can. He's already dead. Beautiful. I want the inhibitor. Hello. Thank you. Stand in the inhibitor to hit your passive, as you can see. If you stand in it, you hit it. Otherwise, you don't. Lilia doesn't have ult now, which is great. Just barren up. Get all the minions in here. Now I'm standing too far away, so don't hit the inhibitor. And all I have to do now is I think I just end the game now by hitting this. Here we go. GG's. That's it for Diana. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button below. It helps out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, so for the end game stats here as well, I ended up doing 33.3k damage, which is very respectable. Lucian on the other team did 45.5. He got quite fed, I would say. Kind of had to play uh, on the back foot for this entire game due to all three of my lanes losing. Unfortunately, but it happens. Crew damage at 1700. Damage to objectives at 78.7k, which is really, really good. As you can see, like for like this is like the consistency with it, right? The objective damage and all that. It is very solid to have this consistency uh, when you can like get through the things you can get through, even though your team is losing. Will do a lot for you. Healing done at 12.5k. Damage taken at 37k, which is the highest in the game. Very solid. Self-mitigated damage at 55k as well. Also really, really good. Gold earned at 17.5k. For the runes, Conqueror healed me for 800, but obviously the adaptive damage comes in here and that does way more. So that is really the thing there that you should uh, that you can't see, but that why Conqueror is good. Last stand only did 372 damage. This is not the most, but it is very relevant damage because if you get low with this, that's when this kicks in. So the fights that are closer are going to be decided by last stand more. So that's why I prefer the rune. But obviously with a setup like this, you will be very healthy for the most part. So get, dropping to low HP isn't going to happen as quickly. Now, obviously, I died quite a bit this game still due to playing well completely on the back foot against quite a fat Lucian at that at some point as well. So in those closer fight situations, this little bit of extra damage means a lot. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're high HP and you're just going to one-shot everything, then this does nothing. But then it also doesn't have to do anything because you're going to kill them anyway. So there is that. And then Magical Footwear and Cosmic Insight to finish that off. So yeah, that's about all. Goodbye.